Hello friends, my name is Prasad and welcome back to Adda Desi. In today's episode of University Life, we are going to talk about University of Cincinnati in Ohio. But before we move forward, let me get done with my usual request. If you like the work we do, then please consider subscribing to our channel. This is completely free for you guys, but it will help us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And it will keep motivating us to make such informative videos in the future. Also. Subscribers can comment below which university they want me to cover next and I will surely make a video on that. Now that's aside, let's start with the application requirements. There are total 6 application requirements in UC. First, an online application that cost around $80. Second, unofficial transcripts. Third, statement of purpose. Fourth, two letter of recommendations. Fifth, a GRE score and sixth, English proficiency test, that is your IELTS, TOEFL or PT score. Minimum English score requirements are as follows. TOEFL 92, IELTS 6.5, PT 54 and Duolingo 110. The University of Cincinnati has an acceptance rate for graduate program is around 85%. This means that UC is consider considered lightly selective. Average profile for a computer science admit are as follows. GRE 311, TOEFL 98, and IELTS 7. Next, let's talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. I'll take a computer science course as an example to talk about the graduation requirements and the tuition fee structure. If you need specifics about your program, you can comment below and I will definitely reply to that. To complete graduation, one needs to complete a minimum of 33 course credits. This can take at least 24 months or 4 semesters. Total tuition fees to complete this 24 months of course for an in-state student would be around $24,618 and for an out-of-state or international student, it would be around $43,989. There are additional fees such as health insurance, campus fee and service fees which may cost around $2,000 more. One thing to note here is that this is just an estimate and tuition fees keeps on changing each semester. Next, let's check out the housing cost. But before that, if you haven't already liked our video, then please smash that like button. Off-campus housing offers affordable options, so many graduate students prefer off-campus housing. You can visit our website addadesi.com and find many such off-campus housing options. The average rent for an entire two-bed, two-bath apartment could start around $1,400 and go up to $2,000. The average rent for per person is around $700 to $1,000 per month. Average monthly utility bill is around $120 to $140 per person. You can also join a special Facebook housing group for University of Cincinnati and connect with other international students. The link is in the description below. Next. Let's talk about transportation. Students can use on-campus shuttle or discounted public transit bus using the student ID for off-campus transportation. The nearest international airport would be Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport, which is around 16 miles or 30 minutes from the new city. Next, let's check out on-campus jobs. University of Cincinnati has an online job portal for on-campus jobs application. You can apply directly in the portal using your resume even before you start the semester. International students can work 20 hours per week during fall and spring semesters and over 20 hours during vacation periods. Average pay at this university could be around $11 to $15 per hour. Certainly, there are some pros and cons of pursuing a master's degree at the University of Cincinnati. Some of the pros for an international student are as follows. First, reputation and rankings. The University of Cincinnati is a well-regarded public research university with a strong reputation for academic excellence, particularly in the fields such as engineering, business, design, and health sciences. Second, industry connections. Located in Cincinnati, a city with a thriving business community and diverse industries, UC has a strong connection with employers, offering students access to internships, co-op experience, and job opportunities. Third, research opportunities. 
as a major research institution uc provides numerous opportunities for graduate students to engage in cutting edge research projects collaborate with faculty members and contribute to advance advancement in their field fourth living expenses the cost of living in cincinnati is generally lower than than in other major metropolitan cities in us making making it more affordable for st international students However, living expenses such as grocery, transportation, and uh, entertainment should still be forced into the overall budget. On the other hand, there are some cons too, and they are as follows. First, tuition cost. Like many other universities, tuition cost at UC can re be relatively high, especially for out-of-state students. However, the university offers various financial aid options, including scholarship, grants, and assistantship, to help offset the cost of attendance. Second, competition. Admission to a certain master's program at UC can be competitive, particu particularly for highly sought-after programs or those with limited enrollment capacity. Applicants should pre be prepared to submit strong applications and meet specific admissions criteria. Third, heavy workload. Graduate programs at UC are rigorous and demanding, requiring a significant amount of time, commitment for coursework research and projects students should be prepared for challenging academic workload overall the university of cincinnati offers a combination of job opportunities and relatively affordable tuition and living costs especially when compared to larger metropolitan cities in usa however students should be careful and consider their financial situation career goals and program of study when making decisions about graduate education Remember that individual experiences can vary. So it's a good idea to reach out to current students or alumni to get a more detailed understanding of what to expect. At the end, as always, I would like to wish you all the very best for all your future endeavor. Please like, subscribe and comment to our channel. And also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.